Yeah, man. Today's video is going to be like Basin Jackson Chameleon care video. So that is a Jackson Chameleon. That's Butch. Um, and this is his little cage. Um, chameleons don't need as much like wide as they do tall. So this cage is about um, two and a half feet high. Um, 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 this is a very good sized cage. They don't need a lot of room. Just like a good sized cage, um, maybe a 10 gallon tank. And as you can see, the sides of it is glass. And this part is screen because this used to be my old tortoise cage. And it was a tank and it went on its um, side. So that part used to be the bottom. But I turned it on its side and now it's a really cool cage. I just open this and I've got access to the entire cage. I'm not going to open it because I'm really scared that he hasn't finished all of his crickets and that they're going to come bounding out. Although I don't see any crickets. But anyways, if you do decide to do this, like flip it on its side, make sure you put your chameleon in a place where the sun doesn't really hit a lot because it can magnify and burn your chameleon. So don't want that. Also, um, you can, instead of using substrate on the bottom, you can use just like paper towels because chameleons don't really pay attention to their substrate. But I would recommend substrate because it just looks nicer. And you can have real life plants in there that your chameleon eats. But fake plants also last longer. And then you want nice, cool, like, sticks that are nice and sturdy that he can just, like, crawl all over. Um, but his favorite hang hangout spots are on that stick and the one he's on right now. And you also want to make sure your chameleon can always get, like, up and down as high and as low as he wants. Um, chameleons can crawl vertically. So like a vertical stick like that, it won't be a problem. They can crawl. They're very good climbers. Um, every day when you like wake up and give him his crickets or whatever you want to give him, just spray his cage really thoroughly with um, any spray bottle you have. This is just plain tap water. You want tap water, not like filtered or anything. Well, no, you want filtered, not tap. So um, just spray it down really well but make sure you open the cage um, so that way you kind of want to spray the plants until they're dripping I'm just spraying this leaf right now because Butch is on a leaf and I don't want him to like get dropped with any water now you just want to spray it real good so that way it's dripping and your chameleon can see it and it just laps that up. Jeez, you stupid cake. And so yeah, that's um, basically it. Um. Yeah, by the way, the substrate I use is Bark Blend by Zilla. So I'm going to go show you the cricket cages. So hey guys, this is um, I'm in my garage now, and this is where I keep my um, crickets. So I'm, um, my mom won't let me keep them in the house. So every day when I want to get my crickets, I just open that. And I've got that blue cup in there, and normally the crickets hide in there. So, um... I just pick up the cup and I throw it in the cage, in my chameleon's cage. <coughs> and I really hope I don't have to show this to you, but um, like right here I've got this ceramic dish with a wet paper towel on it so they can drink it. Then I've got like crunch, uh, crunched up uh, uh, like unsweetened honey nut Cheerios in there and I've got a few like miniature egg cartons so that way the crickets can hide. I've got maybe um, 35 in there. They're really just one down part to having a chameleon. One more thing, um, you want to feed your chameleon like two to three to three to four crickets a day, depending on his size. And um, if your chameleon tends to like save your crickets throughout the day, just have like a wet paper towel in there 
so your crickets can drink and they don't die because if they die your chameleon can't see them and you'll have to scoop up the dead bodies so that's really gross and so um yeah comment like and subscribe bye